Uh, hi everyone. Can the people at the back please raise their hands if they can clearly hear me? Awesome. So uh, I was also encouraged you guys to move forward because I think this projector is not that great. So if you want to see something, don't be shy. Before. Yeah, because there will be code, like a little bit of code on the screen. So if you can't see it clearly, please. Move forward. Oh, um, yeah, um, so we, we are calling all the meetups for this website called engineers.sg. So if you miss something and you don't really want to come in front and like, take note of it, um, the data will be available on engineers.sg if you want to review it. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Gaurav Parik and I'm a happiness engineer at Automatic. I have done uh, WordPress related development for uh, seven or eight years now and I ran my agency and I worked at other companies for some time before joining Automatic. Uh, today we'll be talking about creating your first child team. Now before we actually start, uh, why do you need a child team? Uh, so what happens is Let's say you installed WordPress. You know, maybe you did the five-minute install or one-click install or whichever install doesn't matter. Your host, and you know, you install a theme, and now you're saying like, I want to change this theme. Maybe you're not a develop developer. Maybe you're a blogger or you know, someone who is just setting up a website, and you want to change some parts of a theme. Uh, for example. I have a test site here. Huh. So let's say you get this site. This is the 2017 theme, which is the default theme uh, for WordPress 4.7. So let's say you get this theme and you really like this, but maybe you want to add something at the bottom. Maybe you're not. Maybe you want like proudly powered by WordPress and coffee. <coughs> Anything basically. So what happens is uh, WordPress is GPL, it's free software, it's open source. You can just go into the files and you know, change it. And you know, next day there are 11 updates. You update the theme and your changes are poof, gone. So what a child team does is uh, it lets you make small changes to it to a theme, and it protects your changes from you know updates to the main code. Uh, you don't want to just stop updating things because there might be security stuff, security bugs, anything, any kind of bugs that the new version will most probably fix. And you don't want to hold on to updates, and you still want to make your changes. So a child theme will let you make small changes, big changes any kind of changes to your theme of choice. So let's just dive into the stuff right now. Uh, okay, so I hope you can see that. That's the themes folder. If you're attending this, you probably know how to get there. <laughs> it's in your WordPress installation in the WP content slash themes folder. So what we are going to do is we are going to build a small, very simple child theme for the 2017 theme. Uh, what you need is a folder. Maybe test theme is my theme's name. So any child theme basically needs two files. Oh, well, it basically needs just one file, but uh, two files is a good, good way to go. So first of all, we will need a uh, file called style.css and the second one will be functions.php now to create a very bare bones theme we'll need to put some code in both of these files and we'll see in a moment what kind of code we need so if you go to codex.wordpress.org there's a page called child themes this is the page if you can see the URL, it's codex.wordpress.org slash child underscore themes. If you go to this page, it will give you a bunch of code to put in your style.css header. 
So we'll just copy this, paste it into our paste it into the style.css file. Can you guys see this? Oh, okay, maybe just yeah. maybe I'll change the color. So this is the this is the basic code that you have to put on top of your uh, style.css. You can change the names. For example, I'll change this to my awesome theme. Now the other thing that you have to change is the section called template. And under this, you basically need to put your parent theme's name. So this so you don't have to actually put the name of the parent theme you just need to get the name of the folder that your parent theme has so the name of the folder is 2017 so I'll just copy that and I'll paste it here and that's that's basically your starter style.css for your child theme now in the functions.php okay let's let's see what this looks like so I'll go to my WP admin, I'll go to appearance. Can you see the theme is already here? We don't have a screenshot or anything. If you want to put your screenshot there, you can go ahead. I'll just activate this and show you how it looks. So it looks like this. It doesn't actually load any styles from the parent. So we'll just go ahead and add some code to the child theme. And It's like five lines of code. I already have it here. I'll just explain what it does. So it's basically a function which does an NQ, WBNQ style for your um, what it does. It's it's just it just enqueues the style.css from your parent theme. This function here get template directory URI gets the path of the folder for your parent theme and you just append style.css in the end and then what you do is then enqueue the uh, style.css for the child theme you don't, you don't actually need to do this but it's still good practice to include this line if you don't understand any of it don't worry I'll leave the code with someone here you can copy and read it at your leisure and then this line just you know add this function add the wpnq scripts action so these files actually load in the header of your child theme so we'll go ahead and save this and we'll see what happens okay so our child theme basically looks like the parent theme now so it's so at this point it'll just work exactly like your parent theme does it has all the options all the templates whatever your parent theme has all features of 2017 are in this child theme now so now let's make the small change for this footer so what happens with the child theme is if you have any file in your parent theme and you want to make changes to it so you make a copy of the exact same file put it in the exact same location but in the child themes folder and make changes to it so the child the, the file that you put in the child theme it will override the one in the parent theme we'll just see how it works so let's go to 2017 we'll uh now i know where this code is you'll you'll probably need to search for it uh, so the code is in this folder so we'll make the exact same folder in our child theme so template parts slash footer we'll go to test theme template 
now the path needs to be exactly the same otherwise it, this will not not work so i've just copied this file here i'll go ahead and So this is the file and it says proudly powered by WordPress and coffee. Oh, I misspelled it. There you go. So that's basically the gist. So you can basically, uh, if you want to make style changes, just write some CSS in your style.css file and since it will load after uh, the parent theme, uh, if you are careful with your CSS, it will uh, you know, display the changes. Uh, basically for making any other changes in the templates, just go to your parent theme, copy a file, make the changes, and voila. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask. How about the functions of PHP? Is there a particular order where the parents will first, then the child, or the other way around? Or uh, like, okay, so I'll go to the code. So it will load it, uh, the files will load in the order that you write them. So. So we have written the parent, uh, we are loading the parent style first and the child style later, so it will load in this order. Uh, for example, if I were to write a function that is also available in the, let's say other override function, if okay. the uh, parent team's function as PHP, is there anything that I need to look out for? Okay, so what happens is there are uh, different kinds of uh, function that can be in a parent theme. So uh, for example, there is a kind of function called the pluggable function. Uh, which you can just you know replace and uh, there might be a function which uh, is defined like uh, okay let, let's just so there might be a function which is uh, defined like this if function underscore exists and uh, function name here and function So if a function is defined like this, so in such a case you can just make a function called fun, uh, func underscore name in your child theme and it will override the one in the parent theme. And uh, there are some parent themes, there are some themes in which uh, the authors don't follow best practices. So if that happens, like there is a function in the parent theme and it's used in some template. So you just make a new function, copy the, you know, copy the function from the parent theme, make a new one, make some changes, copy the template from the parent theme and put in your new function and it will work like that. I'm sure you'll have to deal with a lot of badly designed parent themes if you are doing any kind of WordPress development. Um, basically, more than half the themes downloaded from Theme Forest and similar markets. You'll probably find all kinds of edge cases, and uh, this thing is that uh, you know uh, most good developers actually use something like this in their themes. Uh, so, in the in this in this kind of a case, you can just you know copy the function, make your changes, put in the child theme, and it'll just work. You can also use Sorry. Uh, if yeah, if the if there is a function, if if it's been used like that in the parent theme, eh? so uh, if the parent theme author is using add action, you can just do a remove action. But sometimes it's just like templatized function. I mean, just regular functions, and it's used somewhere in the template. A lot of people do that. Any questions? Can you add 
add new sections to a child team. For example, sometimes you find a perfect page where there's only a side, sidebar widget there. Can you add like uh, footer widgets to a child team? Yeah, definitely. So what? Uh, uh, so for example, uh, 2017 has. 2017 already has footer widgets, but uh, okay. So it has like footer widget one and footer widget two. So what we can do is let's add a footer widget three. What we'll do is we'll copy this file. Um, Template parts footer, put it here. So, so we'll have to do two things. We'll need to define the uh, footer widget area, and we'll have to add it here. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. We'll call it sidebar four to the widget three, sidebar four. So most of the stuff that you usually do in a child theme is you know, half of it is copy copy and paste because most will just make small changes. So, there you go. So, we'll also copy the register sidebar thing directly from the parent theme. So, we have less to worry about. Just make sure to rename or prefix any functions that you copy if you don't want to just overwrite them. <laughs> and use the exact name that we used there. And it should work. Let's see if we did it right. <laughs> okay, so footer three is here. Let's add something here. Okay. Seems okay to me, but still not working. <laughs> if anyone is seeing something that I'm missing, please go ahead and tell me. I am just like you. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Could you try putting the one in the existing uh, mm. video and see if anything pops up in the first place? Sorry. <coughs> Could you try putting something in the uh, existing? Uh, oh yeah, maybe there's no categories there. Yeah, we see how yeah. it comes up first. Uh, photo one, photo two. Yeah. So we haven't written any CSS for making it three column. So it will be like that. So if we could just write some CSS to make it three columns and it will be like any other. So there are three widgets there. So. 
if you find a theme which doesn't have footer widgets just copy the code from 2017 and <laughs> paste it there <laughs> so that's how it starts before you start writing your own stuff any other questions to be honest this is the smallest demo that i have done <laughs> so i would really appreciate if anyone has any question please go ahead and ask okay great i'll run the <laughs> oh one more thing we're hiring so come talk to us if you're interested <laughs> so this is a slide you you'll see it you know anytime anyone from automatic speaks you'll see the slide so even if you're not interested please come talk to us we'll make you interested <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.